Today, I'm gonna to show you how to read your TikTok analytics and what to do with your analytics so that you can make a better TikTok channel that will grow faster than you ever thought possible. Stay tuned, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video, YouTube strategy coach and founder of the videomarketingschool.com where you can access tons of pre-recorded trainings that will help you to grow a profitable YouTube channel. Okay, let's get real for just a second. TikTok is my absolute most favorite thing in the world right now. I spend tons of time on it looking at funny content and good content, but I also spend a lot of time making content with my family. We have grown to over 150,000 followers in just a couple months. We're getting millions of hours of watch time and so much of that has come from me reading my analytics on TikTok and knowing what to do with those analytics. So today I'm gonna to show you my process, but I wanna make a couple things clear first is you need to have a pro account on TikTok. So there's two different kinds of accounts. There's a pro account and then there's a profile account. On the profile account, you have some basic features, but on the pro account, you get access to more in-depth analytics and you get access to the creator marketplace and you get access to the creator fund. I'll talk about those in a future video. Today, we're gonna to go into the phone and I wanna show you the two big types of analytics. Your channel analytics, which we'll look at your channel overall, but then we're also gonna look at your individual video analytics and what measurables, what numbers you can be looking at so that you can make better content and grow that much faster. All right, let's get started by logging in to TikTok. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at our channel-wide analytics and then we're gonna look at some video-specific analytics and how you can use this data to keep growing. So to look at your channel analytics, click on the three dots at the top of the page and then see where it says creator here. Yours might say profile, it might say business, but you'll click on that and you'll click on analytics there at the top and you'll see that we have these three categories, overview, content, and followers. Okay, so let's talk about video views first. This data right here will tell you when are your best days to upload. And you can see on this graph here that the third and the fourth are the best days of the last two weeks or the last week that I should be uploading. That is a Saturday and a Sunday. Okay, those are weekends. So I can actually click on 28 days now and get some more data here. And look at this, the 27th of February, but also the 12th, and the 11th of September, which are also weekends. So video views are telling me that I should upload my videos on the weekends, which I already knew and I already do. Then we can go down to followers here in the middle of the page and your followers will tell you which of your videos get the most followers. Now it's kind of hard to see on a seven day graph. So I'm gonna click on 28 days and it becomes a lot more obvious because you can see like between the 13th and the 18th where there's that little point there and also on the 23rd where there's that little point. Notice how on these points, you know, the graph goes up. So I can go look at what videos I uploaded those days and then make more videos like that. Okay, so the followers tab tells you which videos get the most followers. And look, the videos that you make that get the most followers may not be the videos that get the most views. For me, they, they typically are, but you might have a video that gets a lot of followers but doesn't get a lot of views and you need to have a good balance of content in your, in your TikTok um, strategy, okay? And then finally, profile views. And this is sort of an interesting analytic. I, I don't care that much about profile views, but it is a traffic source, okay? So this is something that you could be promoting to brands and saying, look, I get 10,000 views on my profile every day and this is actually a really interesting analytic because let me show you a twitter post i made recently right here that i said look when your TikTok video starts to go viral add a second video quickly so that it gets binge watching traffic from the first video and increases your views i stand by this statement so let's go back to TikTok. let me show you um one of these individual videos so for example this video right here where i have the mud thrown in my face i uploaded the manners video and it got a million views pretty quickly. It's now at two million views. But I added this extra one here with the mud on my face because I didn't think it was that funny, 
but I knew that I would get traffic from the 2 million views. So I was able to take a video that at the time only had like 7,000 views on it, and I was able to crank that up to 98.1 thousand views, okay? So that's where that profile views analytics sort of pops in. Okay, let's go back to our analytics now and dig into content. Okay, content, this is gonna show you just analytics from your last three posts, okay? One, two, three, and that's, you know, big deal, right? But then let's go to trending videos because this is really important. This trending videos will tell you how your hashtags are working. And this is really key. So take a look at my top performing trending video. It's got 398.4 thousand views that come strictly from the hashtags. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm just gonna open it up, okay? And it goes to the analytic page. We'll come back to this in a second, but I'm gonna click on the video. Here's the video, and then look at my hashtags. I've got dad jokes, dads of TikTok, dad life, mass required, and mass problems. Okay, let's go to dad jokes. I click on dad jokes, and boom! I am the number two video in dad jokes. So I'm actually gonna add this to, oh, I already added it. I'm gonna add this to favorites, because this is obviously something, somewhere where I wanna be trending. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to dads of TikTok and I don't see it. Like it might be on the bottom, I don't really care. So I'm not really ranking there. I'm gonna go to dad life. Oh, boom, see I'm number three on dad life. I'm gonna go to mass required. I'm number one on mass required. And I'm number one on mass problems too, okay? So again, these trending videos will tell you where your videos are performing for hashtags and you should use more of those hashtags. Let's go to this one real fast as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go to sneak attack and boom, I'm number one, okay? And then let's go to back to back, see if that one worked. I'm number two on back to back. So again, you know, you use these to find good, uh, good hashtags and you use them, okay. Let's take a look at followers because your followers will actually help you to understand where, like what types of jokes are gonna really do well. So I do a lot of dad jokes stuff. And so I get some of these male followers, but I get a lot more female followers. Why, okay? Here's why I think I do. I get more female followers because it's actually mom's phone and the kids are using mom's phone. Okay, that's what I think. Cause I get a lot of duets and the duets are all with kids, okay? So that's why I think that these are female and what that tells me is I should be making more content for kids. And it's actually, it's true because if you look at my content, the stuff that's a little bit more like intelligent, that's a little bit, you know, it's like not a butt joke, then it doesn't do as well as the butt jokes do, you know what I mean? And I, I like to think of myself as like a sophisticated YouTuber, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, kids like kid humor. Okay, so your gender breakdown has a lot to do with the age group that you're marketing to. And, and if you're marketing to kids, you know, if it's kid-friendly content, like it's gonna be hard to know that. You have to kind of use your own brain to figure that out. Now, top territories, you know, big whoop, it's gonna be the United States. Um, and then your follower activity. So again, in this follower activity, you know, I can see where, you know, what time of day is the best time for me to be uploading. And so, Based on this information, I try to upload around one o'clock and two o'clock, which is like right around here, you know, maybe like right around here, so that I can catch the wave up. And you see, I got these peaks at 7 p.m., all right? And again, I know it's in the United States, so I know sort of what their habits are like. Like this is the after school time, after homework's been done. Okay, and then finally on followers, you're, you're getting an idea of what's trending with your audience. And, and you can tell just by looking at these that this is kid content, you know? So now that we've taken a look at your channel analytics, let's go back to your profile and take a look at, you know, individual video analytics and we'll wrap the video up there. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take you to one of my most popular videos, or actually it is my most popular video, which is mask problems. This video here, I've already showed you a second of it. Click on the three dots here and then click on analytics. Okay, and now I can see my analytics at a glance. And here's a couple things that I, I want you to notice. Number one is the hearts, the comments, and the shares. You wanna be looking at shares. Shares are the big number that cause virality. Shares are huge. So you wanna go back and look at your videos and see which ones get shared the most, even if you only have 100 views. See which ones get shared the most and make more videos like that, okay? 
So your sharing is a big indicator for the algorithm. The next thing I wanna show you is total play time. Notice that this video has, four, it's, a, it's a 17 second video, but it has 46,000 hours of watch time. Your total play time is sort of a bragging right, but this is also for brand deals, okay? So if you wanna get brand deals and you wanna start bragging about your numbers, like your total play time is a good number to do that with. Total views, I already know that number. The next one is average watch time. Notice that my average watch time is 19 seconds, but the video is only 16.69 seconds, okay? What does that mean? It means people are looping my video. And you might be like, oh, oh, and so they watch it once and then watch it for two more seconds. No, that's not what's happening. What's happening is some people only watch half of it, but then other people watch it two, three, four more times. And it all averages out, right, to 19 seconds. So you want your average watch time to be longer than the video itself. And that means that people are looping your video. And so then again, we've got traffic source types. Now I'll close on this because I don't really care too much about audience territories. The 97% of the views on this video is coming from the For You page, which is the home page of, of TikTok. And only 2% are coming from my personal profile. But watch what happens, right? When I, I explained the mud video here, watch what happens when I look at the analytics on this one. My traffic sources are totally different. 81% of the views are coming from people that follow me and 18% are coming from people that are on my personal profile and tapping on videos. So the difference between the follow page and the for you page, let's just go back to the home page of TikTok. Take a look at the top here. See how this says for you and I can click on following, okay? So for you is the algorithm and following is the people that, that I've chosen to to follow and then you can kind of go through the people that you follow. This is Scotty Hubs, one of my favorite TikTok creators. He's so good, all right? But that basically does it, guys. That is a look at the algorithm and how to use it. And so, you know, remember, not every video has to go viral, right? Not every video has to go viral. But when a video goes viral, make sure you add a second video as quickly as possible to get more views, to serve them up something else to watch. Hey, I hope you found that extremely helpful. And if you wanna learn more about how to grow on TikTok, then watch this video that's on your screen now. You can go ahead and tap it. I'm gonna dive even deeper into another topic related to TikTok that will help you become a fast growing creator on my favorite platform, that's TikTok. Click on the video now and I'll see you there.